How you doing? My name is uh, Bob and I'm a pop culture addict. I've been hooked for as long as I can remember. As a kid I was obsessed with Mad Magazine. <laughs> I knocked my tooth out with a hammer so I could look like Alfred E. Newman. I named the family Cat Sesame after an episode of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you remember that one? Yeah, that was good. I flunked out of the third grade because after seeing Star Wars, all I could do in class was draw detailed renderings of C-3PO. Boy, I discovered Kiss at age 12. My life was forever changed. You know, Ma used to wonder why her makeup kept disappearing. <laughs> Until one day she caught me in full kabuki face paint, rocking air guitar to Dr. Love in the bathroom mirror, if you know what I mean. No wonder she sent me to live with Pops. In the 80s, a lot of people try to distance themselves from that decade. No, not me. I embrace it wholeheartedly. Hey, you remember this one? See, I spent the entire decade guitar screeching and hair bleaching. Yeah, I had an appetite for destruction. Now, that all changed in the 90s. I'm not talking about grunge. I'm talking about pulp fiction. Boy, after that flick, I started rocking jerry curls and peppering my speech with F words. <laughs> As a white man, well, that don't go over too good. Unless you're A.J. McLean of the Backstreet Boys. By 2000, I was out of frickin' control. You know, people were starting to worry about me. I mean, I looked worse than Nick Nolte's mugshot. <laughs> and I tell you what, these days, I hate to admit it, but I'm still gaga for Snooky. Not a day goes by that I'm not tweeting my Yahoo and Googling all over somebody's Facebook. <sighs> well, I guess I finally am ready to admit that I need your help. I need to know that there are other people out there just like me. Press trigger, me the press people, but.